Shifting our focus to the European country of Serbia, where clashes broke out between police and right-wing protesters at an LGBTQ plus march, are organized to mark the end of Euro Pride Week. The I'm here today because love is a basic right, and we have to fight so everybody can have the right to love whoever they want to love. It is a very important day, not only for the rights of the gay community in Serbia, but also to fight against the extreme right-wing organizations against the big mafia that exists in Serbia, namely the Serbian Orthodox Church, and against all those people who want to take Serbia back to the Middle Ages. The march was also joined by the likes of United States Ambassador to Serbia, Christopher Hill, and European Parliament Special Rapporteur for Serbia, Vladimir Bilkic. The participants covered a distance of several hundred meters to the Majdan Stadium where a concert took place. This is not the first time that a pride march was witnessed opposition in Serbia. Back in the early 2000s, some pride marches were met with staunch opposition, resulting in violence. Given the track record, previous Serbian governments have also banned pride parades and have drawn flag from human rights groups. Nevertheless, in recent times, pride marches in Serbia passed off peacefully. This positive change was one of the reasons cited by Euro Pride organizers for having chosen Belgrade as this year's host.